Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back. We are going to take a quick look at uh, one of our chapter solutions. Uh, basically, we're going to get some audio on some of Sancho's actions here. Uh, specifically, when we play... Following the death of his and, master, yeah, I don't want to listen Sancho to the narrator, so I'm going to go ahead and disable my narrator for now. So I'd like him to... Following the death oh, of come his on. Master, <laughs> get over here. You know, make some noise when he jumps, lands, you know punches, belly bonks, you know, all that kind of stuff. Get some noise going on here. Okay, so to begin with, what I need to do is fire up Audacity, or you know, whatever you want to use, and make some noises. Um, yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing at first, you know, it's like, oh, peop you know, you're making weird noises and whatnot. Uh, just have fun with it, you know, we're game developers, whatever, just have fun with it. So here I've made a bunch of audio grunts and various noises and, and all of this stuff is inside the project folder if you if you want to use these but yeah I, I would encourage you to go ahead and you know make your own and kind of take some ownership of this so let's let's kind of get these a little bit ready to go into unity so I'm gonna start off just select everything do an effect I'm gonna go ahead and amplify all of this 7.59 it's gonna be the highest it'll be able to amplify because one of these probably this one here is gonna be hitting my clip boundaries we're getting, yeah, see, it's clipping right down there. Now I could always go in and delete that little chunk, probably not lose any audio quality. Most likely you don't. And then I could amplify again, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, mainly what you notice is before I amplified, you know, it looked like background noise was pretty nice. No big deal there. But once I amplify, you can see the background noise is most definitely there. So we're going to you know, kind of review what we did with Audacity in uh, Chapter 9. I think it was Chapter 9. So I'm going to grab myself a little section there, do a Generate, or Effect, I don't know why I said Generate, and go to Noise Reduction, let's grab our Noise Profile, and then we'll go back to Effect, and we'll do another Noise Reduction. And these are my settings I've got here. Now you can experiment with these settings and always do a preview, and kind of see what it sounds like. And, you know, sounds pretty good. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and do an OK. Oops, I was being stupid. Let me go back. Let me do a Control A. I need to select everything. That, that step always, always seems to skip that. Now, I mean, I was wondering why the preview didn't have anything. Now, if we do the preview, we should hear some of these as well. Okay. So yeah, there's me making weird noises. So you can tell that the background is largely eliminated. Now, I don't want to overdo my noise reduction because I, then I'm going to start losing frequency within my actual sound as well. So I'll do an OK, and you can see how flat, where my silence is supposed to be, you can see how flat that waveform became. All right, cool. And now I'm just going to go through and, you know, like we did in the chapter, <coughs> sorry about that. Like we did in the chapter, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, select some audio, export them out, and, you know, go from there. So if I go back into Unity, I've already got all of these import it in here. So we're ready to go. So let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to start off by turning my narrator off again. And let's make Sancho make some noise when he jumps. All right. So we'll come over here. We'll grab our playmaker. We're going to go on into our jump. And this is where, you know, adding audio, getting Unity to play audio is really the easy part. The hard part is, um, this, you know, making the noises, finding the noises, that's the hard part. The easy part is, is making Unity play it uh, with one caveat. Uh, in order to get it to play the audio correctly, we actually have to understand what we've done before. So I want to play a noise when he jumps and a noise when he lands. Uh, let's see, so I'm on the ground. I start animation. Let's go ahead and edit my instance. So this is when he jumps. This is when he starts jumping. This is when he's flying through the air and he leaves this state when he has landed and he comes over here and does a reset. Cool. So this is what I need. So this is where I would need to play my jump sound. This is where I play my land sound. So let's go ahead and create some variables for this. So I'm going to do a jump underscore audio and this will be of type object. I will add that. And the object type will be a Unity Engine audio clip. I'll make it inspector so that way I could easily change it later on if I wanted to. And scroll on down here and grab my Sancho jump to give it a default value. 
and let's make another one land underscore audio also an object add object type is going to be unity engine audio clip I'm going to give it a default value as well Sancho land and an inspector so I can change it easily later alright nice so let's go into our start animation bring up our action browser which I happen to have on my other screen here and what I want is going to be my play audio right there let's add that action to state let's go ahead and pull it up here uh, let's go variable jump audio looks nice let's go to reset add action to state put it up at the top let's do a land audio looks nice alright let's see what we got let's move that off there play pretty cool it works now if we run forward there's a slight problem here and what I want you to pay attention to is when he lands he's got not gonna immediately go back into running until that audio is done playing see that right there so here's what's happening what's happening is we're coming into reset and notice our reset we have a finished event right here but the finished event only gets fired when all of the actions in our state are finished so that means it doesn't get fired until my audio play is finished it wasn't an issue up here because we we were forcing it to stay until our animation was done now this was this is a kind of interesting thing because the animation can actually fire the finished event if you remember but our property or, or our uh, audio play will not just automatically leave and still play so what we need to do here is we need to force this system force this state to go ahead and fire this finished event and get on out of here so the way to do that and we've ar we've actually already seen this we've even already used this but in a different way so let's go to a send event we've used this one before the send event sends an event after an optional delay so in the past we used this to send an event to oh say um, the spiders attacking system to get it so that when it or I'm sorry it's patrolling system so that when it finished attacking we called that global event right or we might have used send event by name um, you know e either way but send event you know, the, we've used this so we've already seen this so if we add this action to our state here what we're wanting to do is send an event to ourself ourself right here and the event we want to send is this finished event with no delay you know once you get down here bang get on out of here so let's take a look at this so now we can go ahead and play this again make sure we haven't broke anything jump nice now let's see what happens let's run over here jump there we go got it going okay cool so we've added our jump and land audio now the, as you can see adding the audio that wasn't the problem the problem really was making the audio and making sure we understood what was going on here so you know next up would be to add noises for bonk and box you know, well, you know we know how to do that we're gonna come over here to variables we're gonna create a couple variables we're gonna go into bonk and box and we're gonna add a play audio bang done uh, the only thing we might want to pay attention to is gonna be our audio level uh, you know my jump here might be a little loud you know maybe I want to drop that down to a point eight and you know let's see what we got there it's still a little loud but you know it's blending in better so you know, I might want to tweak my audio my volume level there okay so cool uh, any questions on this just throw them into the comments down below and do my best to help you out have a good day bye bye